I've never met a student who doesn't want to be good at what they do. I've never met a person who doesn't want to be good at what they do. But the difference is who's willing to make the sacrifices to become great at something. We all want that, but are we willing to do the work? And these students are willing to do the work. The Pride of Arizona marching band is made up of several different sections. We have the brass section, we have the woodwind section, then we have the drum line, we have three auxiliary units. That's our palm dance line. We have the baton twirlers, and we have the color guard, which are the flag twirlers. Finally, the last member of the band is the one who brings it all together, and that's our drum major. The drum major, essentially, his role in the band is the ideal bandsman. He's a motivator, an educator, a leader, and pretty much always has to be the example. Uh, the drum major has to be somebody, something that people can always look to and just think, like, that's what I'm supposed to be, or that's what's supposed to happen. It is extremely rare to have someone in their sophomore year be the drum major of the Pride of Arizona. During rehearsals and performances, my main goal is to convey the music uh, and to be a musician, to kind of dictate how it should be played or dictate the tempo or dictate just certain things around the field, just kind of giving cues to certain instruments or um, just expressing the music. Marching band is a unique activity and it's a unique learning environment for the students. There isn't another activity that combines the physical choreography and the intense military-like precision that it takes to perform at this level with performing on an instrument at the same level. You would not ask the University of Arizona Symphony Orchestra to perform the ballet while playing Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. And yet that's basically what we do week in and week out. We're not only the music makers, but we're also the visual music interpreters. The Pride of Arizona students have to be really, really pumped up to perform at this high level. And you know, you need all 250 of them to be great. It doesn't work if 247 of them are great and three of them are crashing into everybody else. I really love when you have that really hard set and it's like a huge step and you just have to take as big a step as you can. You have to squat down, you have to basically run across the field and hit it and eight counts and make it look, look like it was nothing. That's the best feeling. All of a sudden you just, bam, you got it. <laughs> be ready, be focused, be engaged in your job while you're here. Who you are, what we're about. National TV, that's what they're hearing all over the country. You own it. You own everything we do. You own everything we do. You own it. Game days for the Pride of Arizona are unbelievable. They're very exciting. They're what we work towards. Different parts of the band will form up to perform for the different tailgate areas. On game day, we are considered the first tailgate house. We're just right across the street from where the band practices. Because of that, the pep band will wander over and play in our front yard. And when I hear the band, it gives me chills. The sound is enormous. The energy is enormous. I am lucky to live where I live. ESPN, I don't get nervous just because I know that everyone is there supporting each other and we've run these sets a bajillion times and I know that we're all going to give it everything that we have and it's nothing different, it's nothing changed when it's performance. We perform and practice the same way. So it doesn't just translate to the field, it translates into my classes, into how I treat my friends, my family, just everything I do, I want to give it my all. Ladies and gentlemen, 